Remember we talked about Fort Hill Community College in Basingstoke and uh, Hampshire County Council's plans to close it down and merge it with Cranbourne Business College um, because Fort Hill has seen its student roll numbers falling dramatically after difficult Ofsted reports. Well, it's the start of the consultation now. I was going to talk to um, Katie John, who's with us, because, um, Katie, you've got a child at Fort Hill at the moment. Is that right? I have, yes. Yes. So, so we keep hearing, every time this is mentioned on the show, we keep hearing that no parents are choosing it. But you did. So tell me about it. I did, it. yes. Yeah, I chose it. It's a small school, small numbers anyway, plus falling numbers make it even smaller. Um, and my daughter is quite shy and a little bit emotionally struggling. And so I chose it for her because it's ideal. Ideal because of its size, fundamentally? Yes. Yes, yeah. Yeah, she would have got lost in such a big secondary school that were the other choices. You know, she just would have got lost in there and drowned oh, almost. I can relate to that entirely because we're going through the same thing. My, my son's in year six at the moment, so we're going through the kind of, um, you know, process of working out where he goes to school next. And I yes, can see where is, you're coming from entirely. Really that says, you know, scary. Some schools yeah. just feel big, don't they? Yeah. I wasn't worried about my son. He He's really adaptable. So, you know, he went off to whichever school he wanted. But my daughter is struggling, you know, and she chose that school because she knows the teachers through her brother. You know, so she's really confident. She walks into that school and says hello to the teachers as if she owns the place. You know, she's yeah. just so confident there. And when, um, when you hear they're going to close it down because not enough people want it, what impact mm. is that having on you and perhaps more importantly on your daughter? Well, she's saying that she's not worried but i think deep down she is um she now doesn't know what school she's going to go to she's always been you know pretty much 100 percent certain she was going there and now all of a sudden it's just been thrown in the air she doesn't know where she's going she's got no second choice um you know she just doesn't know what's going to be happening to her which is you know distressing for anybody Especially, it is, yeah. if, you know, she's really settled there and might not have been. Um, th yeah. Do you think it will close? What do, 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 I mean, is your, if you're going to put your Mystic Meg hat on, do you think they will close it and this is all uh, I, just a sort of I like do, process they're going through? Yeah, I do believe they're just making us jump through hoops for the sake of paperwork. Um, that would really disappoint me if that was the case. That's just unacceptable. However, deep in my heart, I'm hoping that, you know, it is a proper consultation period. They will listen to us and they will you know, think before they close it down, hopefully. Well, uh, what's your daughter's name? My daughter's Grace. Okay, and what's your son called? My son's William, so well, William Grace. Hope Will and Grace have a. <laughs> you didn't know that when you chose them, did you? Um, I hope no, no, that they have a, br a brilliant day at school. And I'm really grateful you came on to talk about it, Katie. Thanks ever so much. Okay, thank you for listening. Thanks, Andy. That's uh, Katie live with me, uh, who's chosen Fort Hill for her kids and is worried. It's going to be closed down. We'll stay in touch uh, with that story on the programme for you. 7.26, just getting lighter.